Hey guys, I just want to go over a quick repair. Uh, I've been seeing a lot on Facebook forums, uh, people with their Quest headsets that their dogs have gotten a hold of and just uh, chewed up the strap. I uh, usually go after this right here. And in every single uh, uh, post, it looks kind of like this right here, where the, uh, the end is all chewed up. Um, the speakers are in here, but people are saying their speakers still work, so I'm thinking they might be located somewhere closer to the joint, just airspace in here where it's coming out. Uh, but anyway, so they have this piece kind of like this right here, and I uh, just want to go over kind of how I would repair it. I've mentioned on Facebook how to repair it, but I don't think a lot of people know how to use the two-piece uh, or two-part epoxy. Uh, this is five-minute epoxy. This is made by Gorilla Glue, which seems like good stuff, but... Really, all the five-minute uh, epoxies I've used and little repairs that I've done has worked out really well. Obviously, I've never repaired my Quest headset. I've never had my dog get to it. I put my Quest headset up. But uh, anyway, this is how you would do the repair. Uh, so I 3D printed up a couple parts. This one, which I tried kind of gnawing on it with uh, some pliers, kind of similar to a dog. Now, this is solid, so it's going to be harder for me to cut, but uh, if you have a piece sticking up like this right here, you can try with a hair dryer, uh, heating it up, putting it kind of along the line that it's bent, and little by little bend it back. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'll time lapse this. Okay, so that's straightened it up fairly well. Um, I wouldn't use a, a, a heat gun on this or a propane torch. Uh, you don't want to melt any of the electronics. But what I did was just try to get this to where this piece would snap over uh, fairly well. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, this would be like your Elite strap uh, or a regular strap like this. I'd almost recommend going with uh, this strap or the Bobo since the Elite straps uh, have been breaking a lot and once this thing breaks this pretty much goes in the garbage uh, but anyway so uh, this would be the the clip um, to do this repair you're going to need either steel wool or sandpaper i prefer sandpaper but i couldn't find any sandpaper when i looked in my garage uh, so what i'm wanting to do is just rough this up this would be this part right here where you're roughing it up obviously i'm not going to do that on my quest headset so i'm going to do it on my imitation part Go in both directions. You don't want any smooth plastic. Uh, epoxy wants to stick to the roughed up stuff. It will not stick if it is smooth. I'd probably use about 120 grit to do this. Somewhere between 80 and 120 grit. But anyway, so get that to where it's not shiny. It's nice and, and rough. Um, and the inside of this, do the same. Yeah. So. When you're done with that, test, make sure that it is kind of going in there like it should. So when this headset is on, this clip going around this lip should be enough to hold the headset on your head. It's whenever you take the headset off and the pressure's not there where it would just keep falling off. Uh, without the back part of this that the dogs chewed off, uh, you're only going to have that hook in there. It should work great until you take the headset off and then it'll, it will uh, uh, fail. So the epoxy is really to hold it in place for whenever you take the headset off to where your strap's not falling off every time. So anyway, I'm going to use a plastic fork and I'm just going to break off a little piece of the plastic fork. You want this to be equal parts, so if you push it and only one side squirts out, just ignore that, go to another area, and until both sides come out equally, and that came out perfectly equally, you don't need much. Put my cap back on. Okay. So for about 10, 20 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and mix up this epoxy. Make sure it's nice and mixed.
Okay, so I would be taking my headset and placing the epoxy right here. I mean, even if this was all gone, all of this right here has been chewed up and you just have a little bit left, putting epoxy there should hold that together really well. It should work really well, but again, once that headset stra uh, head strap breaks, then it's pretty much toast, but if you're going to throw it away anyway, because the dog chewed up a main part. Uh, so anyway, here we go. I would just put a little bit of epoxy on there. You don't need too much. That's enough. And then pop your new clip onto that, like so. And of course, this would be on the headset itself, like this, all right? And then what you can do just to keep it on there while it's hardening is to take a little piece of masking tape and just go over it. Well, that kind of went wrong, but you can get the idea. Just to hold that piece there while it hardens. Hey, so it's uh, been, I went ahead and waited overnight, as you should too, if you glue your uh, strap onto your headset. Um, this is going to hold extremely well. One thing I didn't cover, I covered uh, straightening any bends that are, that are in, the, uh, in the mount. I didn't go over clipping off any rough edges or anything like that, but basically you just want, to, want it to be able to fit inside there really well. This should hold extremely well. Again, the, uh, the lip should provide enough pressure when you have the headset on and are using it but uh, the glue will hold for whenever you take the headset off. And I actually think this would be very difficult to get off. But uh, if you ever do need to take it off, if your new headset or your new head strap breaks, you can also always take a hair dryer and just place it about where the glue is and just let that heat up, keep testing it until it finally gives way. Uh, this is uh, PLE plastic and it will actually melt before that epoxy melts, but the, on the head strap that you purchase, the Bobo strap or the uh, uh, Oculus strap, it should melt, the epoxy will melt. But anyway, this is kind of a, a one-time fix. Um, and you see, I mean, it's, that glue is very, very strong. I don't think it's gonna break free. Uh, the other thing I wanted to, to say, mention is that before you actually do the gluing, if you're a little bit hesitant, a little bit worried, about using the epoxy, whether you're going to be able to do it or not. You can also always practice on plastic forks or spoons, glue those together, wait overnight, and then you can really see how, how durable this stuff is. But uh, that's it. Hopefully this helps you fix your headsets. I just had a, saw a lot of comments uh, where people posted that their dog chewed up their, their strap, that, oh, well, you got to trash it now. You need to go buy a new headset. But uh, I really don't think that's the case. I do believe that this will repair it just fine to where you'll get another year, two, three years of use out of your headset. Anyway, take care. Take, be sure to put that uh, headset out of the dog's reach. And um, hope you enjoyed this video.